Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. This is normally Throwback Thursday. We do, however, have some rumors that have been coming out that we kind of have to talk about, and that is that Warner Brothers is selling off the DC properties. And that is why they told James Gunn to overload the Superman Legacy movie with all these superheroes so they could sell off these characters. Now, let's break down why this isn't exactly true. Let's jump right into it. All right, so the rumor going around is that DC is already done, that Warner Brothers is already done with DC. There is no more DCU movies that are coming out. That's the rumor. And the reason that this rumor is going on, places like Fandom Wire, this uh, rumor site, have been reporting that James Gunn was told by Warner Brothers to pile in as many superheroes as he could so that they could sell off the properties afterwards. So think about it this way. If this rumor is true, then Warner Brothers would sell off the superheroes and hope that they make a profit from the sell because they don't have faith in the characters of Superman, Batman, Aquaman, Wonder Woman. You know, all of these characters that have been iconic, they don't have any hope for anymore. They don't think that these will make a profit. And for what? What would be the rationale behind that? Would it be the fact that the movies have seemed to have a bit of a problem with, you know, opening day and not making as much as they had hoped? Well, see, here's the thing about that. This is, this is not quite the beginning of the new DC universe. And they've already determined they want these characters around. They want to keep these characters. So the very fact that we're being told by places that pretty much we're not getting that anymore. That Warner Brothers is looking to sell off all the DC properties to someplace else. It, it's not true. And with, with the writer's strike and the actor's strike going on, you will find probably that you'll see a lot of this going around. Either A, people confirming that this rumor is true, or B, people confirming that it's not. And from a business perspective, it's not, it's not plausible. You don't start a new project and then outright sell that project off to someplace else if you're a movie company. It's not good business to do that, especially in undertaking as big as a new DC universe. You don't want to do that. And then there's this, because I know that there's a lot of people that want to see Snyder come back in and for the Snyderverse to restart. Love or hate Snyder, that's not a possible thing to happen. It's not at this point plausible because he is working on a whole nother franchise that's going to take up a massive amount of his time. And it's a franchise that he has made called Rebel Moon. And Rebel Moon is supposed to be as big as the Star Wars universe. In fact, he has gone on record as saying that this started off as a Star Wars project that he got told not to make. You know, but he decided that he would turn it into something else. So he turned it into Rebel Moon. And if Rebel Moon turns out to be the big project that it's supposed to be, then he has no time for this. But let's imagine that they sell it to someone else. James Gunn isn't putting major DC characters in this movie. He's putting the regular Superman characters in the movie and kind of bringing in a few heroes so that we know that other superheroes exist within this movie. And James Gunn is very much the type of person to bring in characters that are a little bit obscure for the very reason that he wants to give them the showcase that they deserve to possibly become more 
popular. Look at the Guardians of the Galaxy. Before James Gunn did the Guardians of the Galaxy, nobody knew who the Guardians of the Galaxy was. Not a lot of people. Now they are one of the more popular teams in Marvel. So when you're looking at the DC Universe and you're looking at the people that he put in there, it's not the most popular version of Green Lantern. It's not. The, you know, Hawk Girl isn't amazingly popular. It's not that, you know, any of these characters he's throwing in have had the screen time of some of the other heroes who have gotten their own movies in the past. And he has said that they will go on to do other things with these characters. Now, do you think for a second that if he was allowed to sprinkle these characters in, that they would say, add in all these characters so that we can sell these characters off, so that we can sell the properties and make money because we're done with the DCU? Do you think that that's very plausible? Because honestly, it's not good business and it's not very plausible. The fact of the matter that they're allowing him to sprinkle these characters in and then say that they are going to get their own things going on and be able to tell you all of the things that are coming within the DCU is proof that these rumors are unfounded. These rumors that people have been putting out on the internet this week alone are unfounded. I've seen YouTubers that are that are huge fans of the Snyderverse and think that anything other than the Snyderverse will be trash. Now, I like the Snyderverse. Don't get me wrong. But I am always open to more superhero movies. I'm always open to more reasons to go to the theater, more reasons to enjoy the things that we enjoy as a fandom. And if that means that we get a new universe, then that means that we get a new universe. I will wish this universe the best and I will support it. Since this rumor has come out, I do feel that we had to address it here because a lot of people might start to believe it if you start to see it a number of places. Just keep in mind that a lot of internet sites that report on things don't always have their facts straight. The only people who know for sure are the companies themselves. And they can say they have all the insider sources they want. Good business is good business and bad business is bad business. For the company to turn around and sell something that they have just restarted would be a massive mistake. And that is why I do not think that this is going to happen at all. In fact, I am willing to bet that we will be getting our Superman Legacy movie, even if it has to be delayed from the strikes. We will be getting it. And we will be getting this new DCU started. And as James Gunn has mentioned, the Hero Blue Beetle will be the beginning of that new universe in a roundabout way. It may not take place in the same reality as what's to come, but the events that unfold in the movie will probably be very close to the universe you get. And that being said, you should still want to go and watch the Blue Beetle movie so that you at least know kind of what they're going with for an origin story for the Blue Beetle because chances are if we just got the Blue Beetle movie, we're not getting a new origin for him. So everything that you're hearing about the DCU being sold is simply not true. So as usual, we want to know what you guys think. So leave us a comment in the comment box below. Make sure that you are sharing this video so that all of your friends can be part of the conversation as well. And then hit that like button as hard as you can. It helps and we appreciate it. Miko says we need more subscribers. You don't want to disappoint Miko. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a single video. Then friends, at the end of the day, I know it, you know it, and Miko knows it. Fandom is family.